That's not bad. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Oh my god, this one's 9 dollars What? How does this even... How does it make any sense? We got up early in the morning anticipating a bunch of garage sales, but unfortunately there's like maybe one or two that were listed and you know, there's a bit of rain and it's gonna be off and on throughout the day. So we canceled the garage sale idea and we're gonna do that tomorrow. But today we're going to hit up as many thrift stores as we can. Let's go. Yeah. I think this is for is this for a rock band. Yeah. yeah. $5.99. Mm. I don't know if this is complete. This is like a whole Hot Wheels playset. Wow. That's kind of cool. Oh. Complete. Oh, wow. Look at this. How much is this? This is a rock band complete. And we brought this with with one of these Gibsons. So this is five ninety nine. What's the There's no oh, there. Six ninety nine. That's not bad. But it's hard to flip, it's a big thing. Yeah, but hold on, let me think here. I gotta think. It doesn't have the cords though. Yeah. Yeah, it's all different. I get a nice Holloway jacket here. This is very vintage, made in the United States. Uh, not really sure what this comps for. It's got the name Fran on it. I'm not sure if that's the person who owned this before. But yeah, there's quite a lot of stains. I'd have to wash this if I did get it. But it is a decent price. It's six ninety nine for for a jacket like this. Vintage is is not a bad price at all. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we actually did find some lego stuff here this looks like it's lego star wars i don't know if this is a complete set or something but they look like they all go together so if we could find out if this is complete then this can be a pretty good purchase Are you a club um, no. That was a pretty decent Valley Village experience. We found a Wii for about 20 bucks. There was another Wii that had an extra controller for about $34.99. Yeah, for the extra controller, spending an extra $15 didn't really feel like it was the right buy. So we went for the $20 one. There may actually be a game inside. Sometimes they don't test it. And you know, if it's something like you know, Mario Party or another collectible game that's like a good seller, it'll be extra profit on top of that, which is basically free you know twenty dollars for a Wii I think is a pretty good price also we had a big bulk Lego purchase for ten dollars now Lego Star Wars stuff sells pretty well and I saw that there was a few little Lego Star Wars figures so we'll see it looks like it might be a complete set we're going to have to take a look at these Legos further but I know that we can make profit off of this okay I never really cruise the DVD section much when I come to Valley Village but this time I found something interesting in the box set section. We have Lord of the Rings, the Motion Picture Trilogy. This is the extended cuts for all three versions of the film. Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King. And these are basically selling for about 75 in this exact condition. If I had it sealed, it could sell for over $100. So I think for $9.99, it's a bit steep. It's more than I'd like to pay, but I think this is actually gonna be a good purchase and a pretty decent flip. Okay, we got a sign here that says garage sale. We're gonna go check it out before we uh, go to Valley Village. Oh, organic apple? Pick it up in the backyard, the mice on the backyard. Oh, nice. It's very good. Yeah.
sealed. Okay, hold on. On DVD. One dollar each, if you send me thing, you like it. One dollar each, the DVDs? One dollar each. Yeah. Okay, that's getting used to. Mm -hmm. It's also this. Okay. Control you. That's what you should show you. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Scott! Yeah. Yeah. Sealed for a dollar each. Okay. Yeah. This is worth the gamble. These were a dollar each, and you know, I probably would have passed on them if they weren't sealed. Uh, the fact that these are sealed, I'm pretty sure we could probably sell these even locally for maybe like 10 bucks each potentially. This would sell maybe even for more because this is the entire trilogy on DVD, including all the bonus features and everything, and these are all sealed. So, yeah, it was a great pickup right before we're going to hit our last Valley Village of the day, and hopefully, we find more stuff there. Was a line. Wow, you're actually right. There was a line, There's even though it's raining. A line. This valley village in particular always, I feel like, is busy. <laughs> We're looking all over. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really cool looking. Oh wow, I like that. It's like a, whoa, that's cool. It's like a spawn figure or something. It's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah, I don't know. For four ninety nine, I'm not sure what we're gonna actually be getting here. Oh my god, this one's nine ninety nine. What? How does this even? How does it make any sense? That must be a card. There must say. be some card in here that they saw. No, these are just energy cards. There's literally an entire thing full of energy cards and they charge it more for this. Are you kidding me? Upper deck. Allotment of cards there. Super Mario World behind the case. $29.99 for this game. That is basically eBay prices. Actually, I think that might even be more than eBay prices. Man, the prices here are absolutely insane. I mean, yes, it does have two memory cards and one controller. controller, but for 60 bucks, this is basically almost the same price you'd pay on eBay. You know, I wouldn't have got this $4.99 Pokemon pack just based on principle. I think they're overpriced. The other one that looked like it just had energy cards in it was $9.99. So $4.99, we got a $2 discount, uh, discount code, so this ended up being about $3.50 with taxes. So why not just crack it open now? Since I'm not even really sure we're gonna get this value. I don't, I don't, these look like they're newer cards. So we'll just open this up right now on camera. And then you guys can let me know in the comments if I did, if I did well. So we got a Nidoran here. Uh, this is, I know this is from the original set, but this is a reprint from Evolutions. Then we got a Charizard Spirit Link. A Dugong, which actually is a rare. This used to be an uncommon, I remember, from the original set. We got a Drowsy there. Driftblum. A Bergmite. We got another rare here, a Tyrantrum, <laughs> the Zuelos, Galvantula, it's another rare, a Joltic, we got a Fungus, a Drifloon, a reverse hollow foil for that. Oh my god, look at this beat up McDonald's promo though. A Honda Edge, I mean it is a McDonald's promo, that's kind of cool. Um, oh, we got a foil there, I see that. We got a Rapidash, that's another one of the original cards. A Special Charge, Sneasel. You got a Fletchling, Yanma, uh, Gothita, Matchop, Torchic, Clauncher, Apom, cl another Clauncher, different one though. Um, we got a Mawile Energy, Special Energy, and then we have a Pokemon Catcher, uh, Radicate, another rare, and then we get a Foil Electric. Not bad. Almost looks has like the McDonald style foiling. Maybe is this McDonald? No, I don't think it is. And then we got another foil here, uh, Ribombi, <laughs> uh, Mantine, a Gogoat, really bad condition, a foil Hydragon, 
not bad. Tyrantrum, another rare Kangaskhan. Azumarill, uh, that's kind of cool they split the card color. And then we got some more cards here. Tranquil, Gilgar, Diggersby, Rhydon, Pancham, Drillbur, Rog and Rolla, Rhyhorn, Solrock, Binnacle, Special Charge, Shieldon, another rare here, Spiritome, a Ninja Boy, nice reverse hollow trainer there, uh, Pontiard, Tangela, Joltik, Larvesta, and a Rufflet. Yeah, so I don't know. If this was $4.99, how would I feel about this? I mean, that's around the same price as a booster pack. We did get more rares and foils than you would in a typical booster pack, but we ended up spending about $3.30, $3.50 on this, so uh, I don't know. I'll add it to the tally at the end of the video, but I, I honestly don't know what this price is going to go for us, so I'll just say $3.30. Um, but let's head back to the house and see what we got this weekend. An overall interesting day thrifting and luckily we did find that one garage sale even though it looked like a lot of them were postponed due to the rain and that garage sale actually ended up being pretty good. They had DVDs for a dollar each which is a lot cheaper than the thrift stores that I go to. They're usually about two bucks to three dollars each DVD which seems pretty insane but to get three sealed DVDs, Attack of the Clones, Star Wars, we had Harry Potter, The Philosopher's Stone and the Back to the Future trilogy all sealed I think the comps on eBay for each of them are around 30 to 20 to 18 dollars and I think that these were an actually very good purchase. It doesn't really feel like it's a good purchase when you're getting DVDs but a lot of people don't realize the value of DVDs as things are getting more and more digital and there's more streaming platforms. There is a desire for that physical asset. You know, if you're going to a cottage or something, maybe you don't want to have your Wi-Fi on there, you don't want your internet. So you're basically going to be using more older technology like DVDs. And I think these are actually a great pickup and they're sealed. So if you are a collector, these will be more desirable. We also got a box set of Lord of the Rings extended cuts for about $10. Comes with the entire trilogy and the sold comps in the same condition used but complete are about between 60 to 80 dollars so i think that was an okay buy for 10 bucks a little expensive but you know unfortunately the thrift stores in my city are getting out of hand though there was a good purchase for 20 bucks the wii that comes with the controller and it came with a wii play as well so there was a game inside for 20 bucks that's not a bad deal and i thought it was worth purchasing even though there didn't come with the box or anything like that but it's pretty complete and then we also went to another thrift store that had some pretty good deals on clothing. There was a, a drum kit that I actually passed up on, which I kind of regretted after when I saw some of the sold comps. Yes, it was missing a lot of its pieces, but I think we could have easily got more than the value that it was there. It was like $6.99. Obviously, it would be hard to test it and know if it, was, if it was actually in working order, but for 7 bucks. I think we could have easily flipped that for three to four times the value, but you know, it's a lot of space. It's very big to have that drum kit just sitting in the basement and if it doesn't sell fast. I just have a lot of inventory that I'm trying to move. That's actually why I'm going to do a garage sale in a week or so as well to try to move some inventory and sell some stuff for cheap. You know, a lot of the things that I have were basically almost free anyways. I also grabbed a Lego set and it had a few Star Wars figures in there. It could be an actual complete set. I'm not sure, but I've had really good luck with selling Star Wars Lego stuff in the past. So for $6.99, I thought it was worth the gamble. The last thrift store we went to was the absolute most insane for prices. I can't believe people still line up for the store every day. It is insane. So they had Pokemon packs for $4.99 and there's one that was $9.99 and it just had energy cards in it. So maybe they don't know anything about Pokemon and they thought, you know, energy cards similar to like land cards and magic, you know, non-basic lands can be very expensive, but uh, yeah, they, I think it was completely mispriced. Some of the items that they had were just absolutely insane. There was a PlayStation 2 with one controller, didn't even have the power cord to go with it because so I couldn't even test it there. And they were selling it for $59.99 plus Packs. And then they also had an Xbox One and it had like uh, had a power cord, but it was missing its other attachment to it. And they had nothing else to go with it, no controller or anything. And they were selling it for 30 bucks plus tax, untested. It's just like the prices are getting out of hand at this thrift store. And uh, I wanted to bring it to people's attention that I won't be doing as many thrift store buys. I will be going to lots of thrift stores, but I, I'm trying to go to as many garage sales as possible before the season ends. Because once the season ends, I'm probably gonna have to transition to just flea markets and garage sales only. Anyways, let me know what was your favorite purchase that I made in the comments section down below. Always remember, may your carts always be full.